Today, we're going to be showing you how to connect your Battery Evo Rhinos to your Walrus Inverter. There are two methods to accomplish this. For method one, you'll need a 2 to 1 Anderson cable. That means you'll have one Anderson connector on one side and two connectors on the other side. First, you're going to unscrew the back panel on your Walrus Inverter. Before you connect your units, you'll want to make sure they're all set to the same voltage. Now plug in one Anderson connector to your Walrus Inverter and plug in the other two Anderson connectors to your Battery Evo Rhinos. Once they're connected, just turn on your batteries and flip on your inverter and you're good to go. For method two, we'll be showing you how to connect your systems using a bus bar. For this method, you'll need three Anderson to ring terminal cables. Connect your positive ring terminals to one side of the bus bar and your negative ring terminals to the opposite side of the bus bar. Just pick three connection points on each side. Now, plug two of your cables into the Rhino and one of your cables from the bus bar to the inverter. Turn on your inverter and your batteries and you're good to go. For more information and tips, check us out at BatteryEvo.com.